What's going on guys, it's Panjana here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to get 60 FPS on YouTube. So this is so you can see the uh, 60 FPS here. If you refresh this video you should be able to see it playing, you should have the options 720p 60 HD and 1080p 60 HD. I'm not sure if 60 FPS works on resolutions above 1080p, but 1080p and 720p um, both work at 60 FPS. Obviously um, if I haven't uploaded this in 60 FPS you won't be able to see this in 60 FPS, but I probably will just to show you guys that it definitely works. Anyway, so what you got to do to upload in 60 FPS, no matter what it is, whether it's gaming footage, whether it's real life footage, it can be anything. There's two things you need to make sure you're doing, and there's one really important thing to see if you can upload it in 60 FPS. So let's just say, for instance, we're using gaming. If you wanted to use a camera, you need to make sure it can use it. Can, it can film in 60 FPS, but for gaming. You need to make sure you can get above 60 FPS and you need to make sure you can record in 60 FPS. So in my DX story here, um, I've used to record at 30, now I'm going to be recording at 60 frames per second. And then when you filmed, easiest way to check if it has actually gone to 60, this is the video I filmed earlier on, go to properties, um, details, and then you should see the frame rate should be 60 frames per second or it might be 59 or around there, but that's how you can see if it actually is. So then what I'm going to do is import the footage to my editing program, I use Sony Vegas Pro 13. This doesn't matter, you can use this on Adobe Premiere, you can use it on Final Cut, Movie Maker, I don't know, anything that can render in 60fps. So you need to make sure your source material is 60fps. Once you've done that, um, you can literally just edit your video, make sure all the source material is 60fps. If it's not 60fps, when it renders, it's going to go down to 30. You can't you know, increase fps after source, if that makes any sort of sense. So um, once you've done that, go to render, you've edited your video, it can be as long or as short as you want, I've just clip, cut down the clip here, uh, go to render, I'm going to use any, you can use any of these presets, doesn't matter, it, but you need to make sure now that you're rendering above 720p, uh, well 720p or above, I do 1080p just to make sure, so you can have a render at 720p, 1080p, uh, 1440p or, 2K, or 4k, you can even do higher than that, but you've got to make sure it's above 720p, otherwise it won't work. 60 FPS only works above seven, well, on 720p or above. If you put it in 480p, it will play in 30 FPS. So here's my template that I use. Um, I usually used to have this on 29, but up this to 59. Um, I'm going to upload this in, let's just say, I'll upload it in 4k. Um, you just got to make sure anywhere it says frame rate, it has to be 60. So I used to use this preset, so we're going to use this one. Customize. Blah -de blah -de blah, and you'll see frame rate. If I was going to record this in uh, 60, I don't think you can actually do main concept above 60. I'm not actually entirely sure. You can probably put it in custom. Uh, there you go, and that's already on 60, and then you can just press OK and then render that. But as I said, I'm going to use my uh, preset anyway. It doesn't really matter. I recommend you use an MP4 if it's YouTube, but yeah, anywhere on your preset, make sure you change it to 60, then press OK, render it to wherever you need to render it to, and once it's rendered, you'll be left with the file that. It rendered. So what we want to do is we want to go over to where that file is stored and upload that to YouTube. Now if you want to make sure it's definitely rendered in 60 FPS, let's just go over to my desktop and let's find where my file is. Um, here it is, here's my file. Go to properties, again, details, and then you can see 59 frames slash second. There you go, that's how you know the file you're about to upload to YouTube is actually in 60 FPS. And then once you've uploaded it to YouTube, you can upload it. There's no other funky ways to do it, here's the page. You should be able to tell if this is going to work and if your YouTube has updated if you see the video credits tab. If you see the video credits tab, it means YouTube's latest update is running. If you don't, don't worry, just after it's uploaded and after it's processed completely, go to the link. And then you should be able to see the quality options. All of them are here, obviously, because I've rendered this in 4K. You can see 4K, but you can see 720p 60, 1080p 60, and 4K. So let's put it into here. And then you can see it playing in smooth 60 FPS. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. If it has, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to share this with friends if they're having troubles with this. It doesn't matter whether this is gaming or real life footage. The source material must be 60 FPS. That's the first thing you need to make sure. If it is, you're good to go. You're good to start uploading 60 FPS. My Rust videos from now on are definitely going to be in 60 FPS. So, uh... For you guys who watch it in lower quality or you want a higher bitrate or anything like that, that is definitely going to be coming. It's going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to take a few more hours to render some videos. It's probably going to like, 
increased render times by about 40%, but I reckon it's definitely worth it. So guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video, make sure you comment on the video if you need any help, uh, maybe someone will be able to help you, maybe I'll be able to help you, if you have any more questions, a private ones, send me a message or whatever, and uh, yeah guys, thank you very much for watching, this has been Pangino, and I am out.